Howdy folks, this is Cody from GameCan.net. We're here today to play a game, but it's not just me this time. I also have with me... Lore. And Hello. we're going to be playing a Wisdom Tree game. Which one are we playing? Do I have to say it? You don't have to, but they can read... <laughs> well, if, in case they can't actually read, it's Spiritual Warfare for the Sega Genesis. This is a Wisdom Tree game, isn't it? You just said it all right there. <laughs> yeah, for those of you who don't know, Wisdom Tree made a lot of unauthorized <laughs> games... <laughs> These were mainly all Bible games, or were they all Bible games? Wisdom Tree was Bible games, but before that they did porn. Oh, well, that's a pretty natural juxtaposition, I suppose. <laughs> oh, if they're Catholic. Oh, okay, we can't use that. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, though. <laughs> um, yes, keep that. I don't know, I guess we could use that, but I don't want to start that controversial on our second video. Jeez. Oh. Wow. Trying to outdo me from step one. Well, that doesn't seem like a very natural juxtaposition, but whatever floats your boat, I guess. Anyway, let's get this, uh... Do I have to? Oh, so I'm saying you can enter your name here. So is this going to be like a Final Fantasy or Legend of Zelda caliber game? You folks can't see this, but he just stopped and gave me a death glare. I'm scared. <sighs> well, it's a Bible game. It can't be that bad, right? Do so you really little... want me to answer that? <laughs> so your little guy's walking around like he's constipated. Wait, what, what, what just happened there? You were... What did that guy do? I was too busy... I got a pair. What do, you, what do you use the pear for? I get to throw fruit. Toss salad, so, I guess. <laughs> so, your weapon in this game is fruit? Yeah. Wait, what? The, is that a sphere grid? If only. No. What is that abomination in the center of the screen? That is a map. That's a... Oh, I guess that makes sense with those numbers, coordinates, and... Oh, wait. There are more fruit? Yep. So, wait, wait, wait. Let me get this right. The concept of spiritual warfare, a Bible game, is to collect as many fruits as you possibly can. So you can, so you can defeat the enemy with the fruits of the spirit. The tossed fruit salad is more like it. Anyway, yeah. is that is that bottom fruit a banana? You said it. So wait, wait, the strongest fruit. I'm assuming it's the strongest since it's at the bottom. No, it's the fastest. Apple is actually the strongest fruit. It'll go through any obstacle. One of the strongest weapons in the Bible game is it's the banana. fruit shaped like the phallus. Yes. All right. Well, it was uh, there was a porn company once, I guess. So you poop. Poop to have the old man from above. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. True. Even I know that. Yes. The whole point of this was to try and uh, give Bible trivia, so that way parents would. Buy the game thinking that was a good Bible study. Game thinking that was a good Bible study. What the? <laughs> so the happy mask man in the upper right hand corner's tie just spun when Laura got all the questions right. And now that I see that, what the? That old man transforms into a young person with a smile on their face when you zap them with fruit. Yes, you get to convert them. Okay, I get it, I guess. So, I guess you would call this the Wisdom Tree's version of the Jihad? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if that's how Jihads work, but, I mean, the world would be a more peaceful place if people flung fruit at each other when they were mad at each other. And just so you know, I'm heading into a boss battle. Already? Alrighty, well, let's see. What kind of boss is this? It looks like a cloud with a green head. Uh, he's basically hiding behind a rock, so... He moves awful quick for hiding behind a rock. You must have better eyes than I do, because I can't see that at all. He kind of looks like a Tasmanian Devil. You know, so I can't even actually damage him. Why not? Well, at least not without that. Ah, uh, the bomb thing? Yep. Well, you won. Finally. With half a heart left. This is the Belt of Truth, so I'm assuming you collect the Armor of God in this game, like equipment in other role-playing games? Well, it does say he's one of the six pieces, yes, and... With it, just... you can move obstacles, like that guy was moving the boulder. Yep. Just oh. like in Zelda, different pieces of equipment let you do different things and open up the world more for you. I see, if so this would be the Power as... Bracelet. So, 
I know with most of these Wisdom Tree games, they take place at various points in the Bible. What point in the Bible does this game take place? It doesn't. It's a modern day. <laughs> the Apostle Paul was not ashamed of the Gospel. John the Baptist preached for men to repent and believe the Gospel. These are easy. I mean, you don't even... Even a basic <laughs> cultural understanding of Christianity, you can answer these questions. Yeah. Your guy is kind of wearing modern attire, but this is like 8-bit, despite the fact that it's on a 16-bit system. That could be anything. Yes, well, this the graphics on here are pretty much exactly what you got on the NES. So despite the fact... Oh, there's a trash can. That's how it's modern day. So despite the fact that this is actually on a 16-bit system, they only put 8-bit graphics through? Did they yep. upgrade these at all? Nope. Dang, because Wisdom the Tree. The, now, the PC version actually did have upgraded graphics. But the argument could be made the PC version was slightly better. Slightly, I hope so. The faith of an olive seed can move them on true. False. Oh. Mustard seed. Oh. Technicalities. <laughs> the blank amazed Jesus with his great faith. The uh, centurion. Yes. Does that centurion happen to be named Rory Pond? No. <laughs> hey, <sighs> you get your health back, so that's actually a actually legitimate game reason to be answering these correctly. Yes. If you can answer all five correctly, you regain two hearts. Now, th this actually totally looks like modern day. They should have started with this. Hey, I remember this scene from Kid Icarus. <laughs> that dude turned into a demon. Yep, he was demon-possessed. At least these aren't weeping angels. Don't blink. Blink and you're dead. I'm about to vomit. Don't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Who builds buildings like this at all, let alone in modern day? <laughs> <laughs> So it looks like Lore has finally met his end. Apparently, what the heck? Is that the password? Yes. What kind of demonic password <laughs> is this? Write down your password. Be sure to use both upper and lower case. And I like how they put a representation of what upper and lower case are at the bottom. <laughs> in case you didn't know. But you can continue without putting in your password. So that's pretty nice. Or I can get the Jawbone at least. The what? Jawbone. Oh, like the one that uh, Samson. Samson used? Exactly. Because that is this game's version of the boomer boomerang. Dear sweet God, please tell me you're making that up. I wish. <laughs> yeah, uh... forget converting that guy. Let's crush his skull. That's what I was trying to do. You're the worst converter ever. Yes, I am. Hey, there's a lock. What does it say? You'll need to find a key. Well, thanks, Captain Obvious. <laughs> I haven't even seen a key in this game at all. You have to buy them. But that angel dude didn't have any. No, he didn't. There's another store that does. You think this is you think this is bad though? Wait, in the le final level for this, when you're actually in hell, because you actually get to go to hell here and take on Satan himself. And yet, just like in the Bible, I remember that. That was Second Hesitations twenty three nineteen, right? And Moses fell to the abyss and clobbered the devil with his rod. I have to say, overall, this is a much more competently done game than most Wisdom Tree games. Like, despite the fact that I'm watching you here and starting to become bored, I don't actually want to rip my eyeballs out and <laughs> curse the name of God for these awful games. Man, I'm totally surprised this game didn't sell a lot better, considering how action-packed it is. Especially when you look at the, um, box. Oh, th what he's talking about, folks, is Lore got this game with a custom case off of eBay. The custom case is so awesome. It has this awesome-looking angel drawn really well with a flaming sword. Yep. I mean, it looks so awesome. You would look at that box and think this was going to be the coolest game ever, and you think, wow, they need to make more Bible games. But no, this is the game it represents. The only angels in it do not have flaming swords, do not look awesome, and the cover of the box does not look like anything in this game. To be fair, the guy who made the custom case is clearly awesome, <laughs> but the game is not. Yeah. I can't believe we've actually managed to go this far without having that crash that kept happening with my system. What Laura's talking about here, folks, is we actually tried to record a video of this way back when we first started up GameCan.net. We did it using a uh, digital camcorder I own, and it looked awful, so we never published it. But every two and a half, three minutes, the game would just crash. Now, at the end of this video, I'm actually going to include a clip of that. It'll be much reduced quality in the uh, visuals, but I at least need you to see what we're talking about, because this was obscene. 
I don't know why it did it, but it's not doing it now that we're playing it on my Genesis, so it's probably a combination of this cart with Lore's Genesis. Which is a little sad, but at least you know you can always play this great game over here. I mean, why would we bother doing things like watching awesome movies and TV shows or playing great games like Zelda or Mario <laughs> when we could clearly be doing this? I mean, our yeah. priorities in lives have been, been wrong up till now, but we have seen the light. The scales have fallen from our eyes, people. We All know. Right, calm that down, Cody. <laughs> spiritual warfare is indeed the way to go. I yeah. think I got a little uh, revival in me there for a minute. I do apologize, folks. Honestly, if they could actually revive this game and make it good, it would be a decent game. Anyway, I think we've tortured the people enough. We will include something at the end. Give us some final thoughts on this game, Lore. I have two apples. Not quite <laughs> what I was looking for. You have thoughts other than the fact that you have two apples. Um, if you are a collector, this is actually a very rare... This was the rarest version of this game. Thankfully. <laughs> Honestly, the game itself is not that bad. Um, what would you give this on our website? We use a scale of 1 to 10 for collector's scores. 1 being a game everybody has, like, say, Mario Brothers Duck Hunt. I mean, it's not going to be rare. And 10 being a game maybe like um, the gold Nintendo World Championship cart that's going to break your bank to have. What would you um, put this on a rating scale? Collector's rating, I would definitely give this a... Probably a six or seven because it is a very rare game. Quality wise? Yeah, the actual <laughs> game rating. Now we know from the site we rate these differently because a great game could be very common and not have a very good collector score. And an awful game could be pretty rare and have a good collector score. Like this game will probably fall into. What would you actually give give this game? I would say probably as a game, let's go with a two. Two? Wow. Nostalgia wise, I would give it a six or seven. Because I say wow again. I think one rating is too low and the other rating is too high. But of course, this isn't my opinion. This is yours. Yeah. So. Well, it's just you know I have a lot of fond memories of this game. Of course, I was a little kid back then, so that reminds me of when we uh, when I purchased the uh, season one DVD of the Super Mario oh! Brothers Super Show, and I was so excited, folks. I loved that show as a kid. And then and we then watched it. We watched it, and all I could say is. By Jove, I was a stupid kid. Anyway, folks, I think that's enough for now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, go to the website at GameCan.net. And that's all for now. Say goodbye, Lore. Goodbye, Lore. Why did I know you? I, I should have not <laughs> even said that. Anyway, talk to you folks later. Have a great day.